Hey everybody. Today we're gonna to introduce the girls to a collar. Um, they have not seen this yet. All you've seen us do is lead the girls around the pasture with a halter and lead ropes tied up to either side. Well, today we're gonna to introduce the collar to them, see how they take it. And then we're next week we'll be working on putting the bridle on them. And then we'll start ground driving them with the bridle so that they're actually getting some input uh, through the bit. And I think we'll get a little bit better response. One of the things that I've learned in the couple of weeks that I've been doing this is to not expect immediate results when I give them a command. They gotta process the command and I've gotta give them a command and allow them time to digest it. And when I was ground driving them out there and they didn't even have a bit, I was using Cowboy as you know as the lead dog and um he was getting an immediate response but the girls uh, i just need to be more patient more cognizant that they need time to process it now the collar unbuckles at the top right here and you can unbuckle this and completely separate the collar and and put it on them that way like that but that is not the preferred way to put on the collar because the collar can actually break down here at the bottom if you drop it too many times or it stays open too long. It can actually snap down here. And so it's typically not the way to put them on. A lot of people will loosen them just to get a little extra room. But these collars are so big right now that I am just going to slip them over the girl's heads, which is the preferred way to do it. Once they get used to the collars going over their head, they will actually assist you by pushing their head through and pulling their head out when you're taking them off. But I don't think we're gonna have a big problem with this because these are such oversized collars for them right now. So I think they'll slide over their heads pretty well. But what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna set it up here on the wall and I'm just gonna let them smell it. These are used collars. So there's a lot of leather smell, but there's probably a lot of horse smell in here too. pretty interested. So ideally, when you're working on a horse with any horse, you want to work on the near side, which is this side, obviously, over here on, on Gene. And on Grace, this would be the offside. Me being partially paralyzed on the left side of my body, I've got to do a lot of stuff on the, on the offside. So if you see me doing stuff on the offside of the horse and you wonder why I'm doing it, it's because I'm partially paralyzed on the left side of my body. All right, so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to hook, I'm going to unhook this, run the rope through, and then hook her back. And then she's been smelling it. She's already sticking her head in it. I'm just gonna lift it up a little bit. Push her this way, cowboy. I'm just gonna pick her up, and put it on. Well, that's not, that's not too big. It's only about eight inches too big. <laughs> It's way big, but it worked out perfect. She didn't even care. I knew if I opened it up and slid it over her neck. Ah, ah, ah. Back up. Back, back. I knew if I opened it up and slid it over her neck, it wasn't gonna be an issue because of all the desensitizing I was doing. This is the ideal way you wanna do it. So that's why I wanted to slip it over her head. She gets used to this thing going on and off her head. It's not a big deal. Let's try to take it off. Pick it all the way up. There you go, all the way. You gotta do it quick. There you go. It's gotta be one quick motion. When you do this, you wanna pick it up. The, it's, it's narrower at the top and wider at the bottom. So you wanna pick it up. Some people put them on upside down 
like this and then they twist them on the horse's neck and I don't think that that would be super comfortable. So what you wanna do is you wanna pick it all the way up so that their head is right here and then one quick motion, you wanna just shove it over. And then when you're taking it off, you wanna do the same thing. You just wanna take it off in one swift motion. If you sit there and exaggerate it and drag your feet and everything, it's rubbing on their eyes and on their ears and everything else. So the quicker you do it, the better you are. So let's do it one more time. Well, all right, let's take it off. That worked out good. All right, so we've got Jean now, so let's see how she does. Not too bad for her first time ever seeing a collar. Let's take it off now. All right, back on. All right, she took that good. Let's take it back off. All right, so that was just a short and sweet introduction to the collar. I only did it two times. I know you should do stuff three times for repetition, but they took it twice just fine, so I don't have any doubt that they won't take it a third time just fine. They're so desensitized to me constantly handling them that uh, this will be fine. They take the halter fine, everything. So that worked out real good. I'm real pleased with that. So next week we'll uh, continue on with this for this week, and then next week we'll introduce the bridle. I appreciate you watching. See you next week.